Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you very much for lending me your time and your ear and listening into another idea video from me. And this time for the platform is for is the three DS. Uh so the three DS game idea series has been born and will be running alongside uh connectivity. Uh, <laughs> um Yeah, I know I said I wasn't gonna do any more ideas for Nintendo. I'm sorry, I lied. I didn't mean to lie, but I lied. I, I kind of lied to you guys. It wasn't intentional at all, but it happened that way. Um, I, I just felt like, like there's potential to the, the 3DS that's not being used. And there are games that I know would fit very well in the 3DS. Some of them are older games. Actually, a lot of them that I've been thinking about, they're older games. Um that would work on the 3ds they just have to have a few tweaks here and there to make them really really shine on that device and i'm definitely willing to talk about how that would work so the first game up for a 3ds adjustment would be act razor and this is one of my favorite games of all times definitely one of my favorite snes games I, I still have the first and the second one. The first one was still the better game to me because it, it was more, it, it just, it was more interesting and more engaging to me than the second game. The second game was just basically all of the action and it didn't really have all of the, uh, the additional side stuff that just kind of kept me interested in, in, in wanting, wanting to play the game in between the, the action stages. Um, Obviously, okay, Here, here's my 3DS. So I'm, I'm going to use this to kind of lay out the examples. I've uh, been playing Dragon Ball Z Extreme Blue Toten. Uh, top screen, you're going to... Actually, your top screen is going to be for basically all your action and stuff. Your action stages, uh, your overworld type stages. Who I, I don't know who's online right now. Uh, <laughs> all of that stuff will be taking place up here. What's going to happen, though, this will be HUDless. There will be no HUD because everything else will be down here. Oops. Didn't mean to hit the shoulder button. All of your um, your health, health, life, and all that stuff be displayed at the bottom of the screen. Time, when you're in the action stage, time in the stage, all that stuff displayed down below. Um, action and overworld stages. Uh, your mana or magic, whichever one you want to call it. All that stuff will be available down here for a simple touch. And I would still keep the uh, SNES controls available. I'd keep those controls available for people who, like, who grew up playing the game that just don't want to really adjust to it. But you have the option for that added flexibility to use either one. And I would personally also add in an extra difficulty setting. <laughs> like, because for all of us old school players who played the game through and, and got the expert mode and then played through that I'm gonna need something a little bit more challenging just 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 saying um, I think it would also be a good idea to not necessarily um, put act razor 2 and act oh well, you could put both of them on the same put both of them together as a, a duology but what I was thinking though is to stick with the original act razor game but uh, and the uh, the professional mode where you're just running the stages put in some of the state put in redesigned versions of some of the stages from act razor 2 just redesigned so that they fit the uh, the character you're playing with in the first act razor so like the ability to double jump and fly those things you don't have because your angel or your god isn't powered up in the first game he doesn't become powered up until the second game so that I would love to do that. I would love to see that type of that type of thing happen. Um, I mean, in the 3DS, they could definitely update the visuals, but I would really prefer they stick with with sprites and just kind of just uh, work around the uh, 3DS's re uh, resolution. It, it's just I think sprites would fit better, and 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 in the long run, they they're actually they last longer they they definitely last longer because it's an aesthetic that doesn't really degrade so that's, that's i don't know if i can really say too much more because i mean personally 
I, I really want like a new version of this game, and hopefully from that, the franchise will be reinvigorated, and Square Enix will say, well, hey, we put this out on Nintendo, we might be able to make this, this series work. And, we're like, and it's not like they have to spend a whole lot of money. They have all the files for the game, because they obviously, they, they made the... the um, the Android version, I don't know if it's on iOS or not, but I know it's definitely on Android. So, if they could do that, they've got all the files that they need to make a 3DS port of the game. Like, I, I would really, 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 really love to see this game come back. And I would thoroughly enjoy it. I don't care if it's a download-only title. I mean, I would prefer retail. I would prefer retail, but I don't care if it's download only time because I would still get it either way. And that's, I really want to see that happen. Like, I think ActRaiser itself deserves more time in the limelight. And this is, it's definitely an action platformer with like RPG elements. And the RPG elements are definitely more so gained and, and utilized in the, the, the uh, I guess you can call it the God mode or the overworld mode. And it's it's a title that you you don't see a whole lot of games like it. There are literally none like it that I can think of off the top of my head. So I'm sitting here looking like, y'all got this. It's in your library. Use it. Like do something with it. Make a game out of it. <laughs> but um, that's really it. There's not a whole lot more I can say. Because the game itself speaks for itself. And if I, if I had a capture card, I'd put gameplay footage up for you guys. But that's it, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.